Well, as you're celebrating the holiday with family and friends, maybe there are some across the miles who can't be with you. Online cards are being sent and received more and more all the time, but security experts say open with care. New City's John Crisos is counting down the 12 scams of Christmas. Those e-cards are being sent out with a warning tonight from the security pros at McAfee. They say some are malicious and may contain spyware or viruses. That's why dangerous e-cards are our second scam of Christmas. E-cards are a popular way to send a quick thank you or a holiday greeting, and there are plenty of free and paid e-card sites out there. Most are safe, but you'll want to watch for some red flags that could deliver more than you bargained for. If any ask you to click on an attachment to view the card or maybe a screensaver, that is a red flag. Trojan viruses can then be downloaded to your machine. So make sure the card comes from a well-known e-card site by checking the domain name of the link. Also check to see that the sender is someone you know and that there are no misspellings or other clues the card is fake. Bad guys have been ramping up all year long and they uh, take this time of the year essentially to rob you and your bank account. Uh, so our goal here is awareness. So just be careful when clicking and if you come across a shortened URL, use a URL expander to see where the link is directed to before you click. And if you missed our first scam of Christmas, phony classifieds. Online sites are a great place to look for gifts, but beware of phony offers that ask for too much personal info or ask you to wire any money. John Crisos, 13 on your side. Well, we continue counting down the 12 scams of Christmas and posting more holiday shopping tips and tricks on the On Your Side section of WGME.com.